Good morning, everyone. I don't know why it looks like I'm looking over to the side today. <laughs> That's weird. Let me look straight at the camera. Um, try that again. Good morning. How is everybody today? Thank you so much for joining us. I look better. <clears throat> um, today we have Tammy with us again from CA Botana. And um, we had a great webinar with her uh, last week on the Dr. Schwab skincare line, a brightening protocol. And today she is here with us to talk about the Ambrosia product line from CA Botana, which is aromatherapy. So we're very, very excited. Um, so happy that you could join us. And before we get started, I wanna do a couple introductions. So of course we have Tammy on the phone um, or on the phone, on the webinar. <laughs> and we have Tiffany from our California office. Tiffany and I represent Alexander's Aesthetics. And for those of you who do not know, Alexander's Aesthetics is a family run business. We've been in business for 30 years in California and four years here in Colorado. Um, it's run by my family, my mom and dad in ca the California store. Um, so we service nationwide, and we are a wholesale distributor of skincare supplies. So um, we are happy to be able to be doing these webinars for all of you wonderful estheticians out there during this shutdown time. Um, we are kind of wrapping up the webinar series as some states are uh, reopening. So um, we have all of our webinars recorded on our website, so if you want to go back and review those. But we have some going through mid-May, so hopefully you can join us for more. Um, a couple of housekeeping items. We do have some wonderful handouts today. CA Botana provided with some protocols which you can use for um, using the products in today's presentation. Those are in the handout section. We also have the slides available as well, so you can download those during the presentation today. Um, they're in PDF format. We also We'll be doing Q and A at the end, so if everybody can just try to find that questions box, go ahead and put in where you are um, calling in from. We'd love to see where everybody's in from. We already have someone, Darice. You must have been on another one before. She put in right away. She's from Illinois, so we do ask this in every every webinar, so people are getting used to it. So try to find that question box and um, put in where you're from and use that for questions. I'll be monitoring them throughout the presentation and then we'll have Tammy and Tiffany answer the questions at the end. Um, all right, so we've got Florida, Colorado, California, uh, Illinois, like I said, uh, Idaho, yay, all over, all over this great, great place. Okay, I am going to change you to presenter. Great, thank you and um, pass it over to you. So thank you, Tammy, so much for joining us today. We're so, so happy to have you. And before, one more thing. So we've been, my mom has been carrying the CA Botana line for 18 years is what she, she told me. So it's been a long time and we love the partnership. So we wanna say thank you to you, Sophia, Ursula, Bruni, and the whole team out in San Diego for supporting thank us. You. So thank you. Absolutely. Partnerships are key. And during times like this, I think it takes us all a little bit to regroup and figure out the new new and the new paradigm that is is really, you know, infiltrating all of our, our lives, family, personal, business, everything. But remembering the people that help us to get to where we are. And without you guys, the connection up in the Bay Area and in Colorado. It, it wouldn't be as beautiful and synergistic. And so we're really grateful for that. So thank you for all the work that you do also. You're welcome. Thank you. It's on your webinar. I really appreciate that. I was excited when I got the invitation. So, yeah. Yes. Um, all right. Well, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Nice and bright and early over here on the West Coast. I think it's a little bit later where you all are in mountain time. Um, but let's get started and talk a little bit about aromatherapy today. I'm going to focus on the ambrosia and the C enzyme products. I think it's really important that we don't forget that those two are just as important pillars of the Sia Botana family, as is the private labeling, and as is the Dr. Schwab clinical side. Those three aspects of Sia Botana, the clinical side, 
the aromatherapeutic ambrosia and the alginic properties and sea salts in C enzyme can give you a comprehensive platform in which to work to really take care of your clients. And depending on your licensure, to take care of your clients, not just the physical, like facial quadrant, but from head to toe, from tip to tip, and everything in between. When we deal with aromatherapy, there's a couple of key words that I want you to just kind of put into your mind, because as Maya Angelou said, it's not what you said, but it's how it makes you feel when you're in conversation with somebody, when you're listening to a public speaker, the same can be said as the clinic experience. And how you feel is a lot of the time directed by what you're experiencing. Sensory aspects are so, so important to pay attention to. So sanitization, of course, which we'll go through, the backbone of the company as to how the products are able to do what they do, we'll go through that. We'll talk about specific products to use in the protocols that I created for you. But we also need to take a look at aromatherapy at a basic level because it is an ancient art. And some people would say it's an ancient art of healing. When you're dealing with aromatherapy, I want you to think of the core. I want you to think of the strengthens core and the enhancer and the harmonizing aspect. So the core is like that base oil, that combination of the essential oil blends that gives the product that gut, like what's inside. But when you're looking at, for example, an apple, you see the beautiful outside of the apple, whether it's organic or not, and you don't know yet what it tastes like because you can't see that. That core is what's inside. It's what gives it all of the benefit. But that's not the juiciness and that's not the color on the outside. The color on the outside is the enhancer. That strengthens the core because that's what connects the beauty to that inside deliciousness. And then there's the harmonizing oil. And the harmonizing oil is what pulls it all together. So that would be your outside skin. And that is where you get the scent. So when you're talking about aromatherapeutic products, there isn't just one pure extract that is giving you that experience. It's your core, it's the enhancer oil, and it's the harmonizing oil. And you may not know exactly what oils play a role, but on the product knowledge pages and on the back of your products, typically there will be some sort of a clue as to, oh, it has a rosemary mint scent. Well, then you know that that's the harmonizing connector that really gives it what it has and brings out the core. So aromatherapy, I want you to also think about it as you're putting together kits to send to clients or as you're getting home care regimens up and going or even getting back into the clinic, the cost for self-help is far outweighs not trying to go down that path. And aromatherapy is something that sometimes people see as luxury or not as even, even something that's attainable. But if any of you have ever been to a therapist before, you'll find that there's these pearls of wisdom that that particular person can give to you if you are open and ready. But if you're not, then you have this wall that prevents any of that learned, shared, experiential growth. And it's the same thing with aromatherapy. Being open to it will allow the benefits to penetrate even greater and for that synergistic relationship between yourself and the clients and that harmonizing aspect to truly be beneficial and to be remembered by the client. So Ayurvedic is a word also that gets interchanged with aromatherapy. And Ayurvedic is the science of life. When we're dealing with Ayurvedic philosophies and we're dealing with aromatherapeutic traditions and techniques, we're dealing with holistic work. And so that's the holistic look when we're looking at the overall body. When we look at the company that's making these products, we have Ambrosia, Dr. Schwab, and C Enzyme. We are looking at a holistic benefit to the body. One of these would not be as strong without the other. And what's behind it would be the research and the clinical trials. I'm not a salesperson. That's the first thing that I'll tell you. I do work in clinic and I love being an educator. I really like working with people. Uh, I like working with the estheticians and the students that I teach and people that come to headquarters or being able to work with fine folk like you and be able to help you not only make more money and generate your retail side, but understand that scope of what our purpose is. If we just go out and take advantage of the profession to try to accomplish something every day, we don't have more of a larger purpose 
then we're not going to be able to stay out of debt, to be able to save, to be able to make those goals that we want to go to. And so when you take a look at what's behind what you're using and why they've done what they've done, it helps to remind you that you do have a bigger purpose than just the daily grind. And hopefully again, this time that we've all had at home or away from our typical daily grind has helped to bring that into balance for everybody. And so the company has done the research and the clinical trials behind all these products. You don't have to, it's done for you. So when you're looking at different product lines and you're vetting out what's behind them, put on your detective's hat and pay attention to the information that is put in front of you to understand the purity and the power behind the company. And then you'll know what it's going to do for you, for your clients and for your bottom line and for your goals, for your future, for what you want in life. Green philosophy and packaging. One of the things I think people have realized is that the environment has benefited from the quarantine that we've been going through. I would say the birds, I would say the beauty of the plants, the air, the ocean, everything seems to be flourishing and thriving. Well, it's our responsibility as humans on this marble of the world to really pay attention to how we impact it. So just like we take care of our clients from tip to tip, we need to also remember to take care of our world. So the packaging and the sourcing in every way possible to use a very environmentally focused, environmentally friendly perspective, intention, and decisions that we're making. I'm just gonna do a check-in in terms of the audio. How does it sound, Wendy and Tiffany? Are we doing okay on audio? It sounds good to me. Okay, because I also have earphones I can put in. If at any point it seems to reverberate or if it's, if there's any okay. problem, just, just stop me and, and say, let's put those earphones in. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. And then natural ingredients. So the natural ingredients, when we talk about a botanical company, you have to be able to say, okay, it's botanical because whenever possible, organic and natural ingredients are used whenever, ever possible. CO2 extraction method. So if you're going to use natural ingredients, you're going to use that purity of botanicals. You need to extract what you're using in the product in a way that is environmentally friendly to that product. So we're not going to use heat and we're not going to use chemicals. We're going to use the pressure of the CO2 extraction method. And botanical stem cells. So we use a lot of the botanical stem cells in the clinical side, in the Dr. Schwab part of the company. And so that is harnessing the power of botanicals and getting cellular change, regeneration and rejuvenation. But it hasn't been forgotten on the ambrosia and the C enzyme side as well. So you will find that power of cellular change. If it's not results oriented, why use it? That philosophy is blanketed through all three aspects of the company. And then alphasomes, those are the delivery systems. So that's how you get the ingredient to get to where it goes through that lipid layer of the skin. It's a lipophilic encapsulation with the key ingredients inside. And the last one would be peptides. Think of those as your powerhouse. Those are your band-aids. Those are your, your amino and your acid chains that were removed or were separated out. And then they were synergistically combined with other ingredients. They were recombined into over 30 different proprietary peptides used in products throughout all three lines. Again, here's your summary for the key characteristics. And always remembering whenever you're working with these products to do a full skin analysis. So from the top of your head, to the tip of the toes to have your client tell you what's going on with their body really really listen then you'll be able to address their concerns as well as to do what you think you want to do but if you haven't paid attention to what they want you may miss the mark and think you've done a beautiful treatment with the aromatherapy that you love and then realize that they really don't like lavender and then you have missed the mark so pay attention to where they're at what their allergies are and the holistic perspective of what they want as a client. One of the first ways that you will be able to impact them when they walk into the treatment room, when they walk into your facility, whether it's a tiny place, whether it's a large multi-room, multi-million dollar facility, because these products work in the scope of work, is that scent, that aromatherapeutic scent that the towels, the towel warmer will give off. It will infiltrate the rooms, it will infiltrate the places. So be intentional about what you want them to be. Two examples would be the geranium lavender and the ylang-ylang orange blossom. So we're looking about taking away stress, 
we're looking about taking away fatigue. It's something you can use in your bath water. So you can retail it, you can use it with steam, or you can use it in your towel soaps. But the key is to incorporate aromatherapy into what is closest to the sensory organ. And so the towel, when it's wrapped around the person's face during, after the treatment, if somebody's working as a barber around the face after a shave, using a straight edge, whatever type of work you're doing in the world of cosmetology and aesthetics, to be able to incorporate aromatherapy. Just because somebody is not just an esthetician doesn't mean that wellness soaks aren't hurt, that it's not a relevant conversation and a relevant product to bring into your shelves, to retail, and to use in your back bar or at your chair in whatever way you can incorporate it. The freshness of aromatherapy also needs to be complemented by the cleanliness of where you're working and how you use the products. The combination of these two products is something that people don't always think about. But when you mix the sanitizer, toner, the, the um, histamine reaction addresser, everything that's in the tea tree prep lotion, when you mix a little bit of that to one, to one ratio or something about like that based on what you're doing with it, with one step cleansing oil, what do you get? you get a beautiful pre and post waxing treatment with the beautiful aromatherapy of botanicals. And you're able to get the wax residue off, you're able to clean the skin, you're able to drop inflammation and irritation, and you're able to soften the skin. And your client can then clean themselves up afterwards also if you're doing a Brazilian or something like that. So think of these products as multi-purpose, multitasking. We've got the tea tree prep lotion, again, just as a reminder, it's a cleanser, it's a toner, it helps with histamine reactions, it helps with skin irritations. I sprayed on my dog's paws when she comes in from walks, on her harness, on her collar, on her leash, on our shoes before we come into the house, even though we leave them at the door, on our ankles when we come in. Anything to help us to stay clean, I wipe the counters with it. Of course, I use other products also. The tea tree prep aromatherapy aspect and the cleanliness aspect can go far beyond just a treatment room bed. Same with the one-step cleansing oil. The one-step cleansing oil is a hair treatment as well. And it's something that incorporates that sanitization and that hygiene into everything that you're doing. So the tea tree prep lotion, the invisible glove to protect your hands, it's an antimicrobial sanitizer and it's a skin protectant. And then the seaweed citrus hand and body wash. You will find such a difference by transitioning at every sink that you have in your house to this hand and body wash, and then in your shower as well. When we're bathing as much as we are during this time, we're taking care of our hands and washing as much as we are. It's Tammy, important. Yes. Can I interrupt for a minute? There's a little, starting to get a little bit of an echo. Okay. So you want to and try I'm, to put in your, sorry yeah, to interrupt. I'm hearing, some, um, I'm hearing a little bit of feedback from somebody else as well. I know, I was trying to figure out, um, Tiffany and I are both muted and all the attendees are muted, so maybe. Yeah, it sounds like, it's almost like somebody is calling from a phone. Oh, maybe someone's on a phone. Let me look. Yeah, because that's, I've, I've been listening to that also. I'm like, ooh, I think somebody's on the yeah. phone. Yeah, okay. If if anyone is um, not, I think all the attendees automatically get muted, but if you guys can just make sure everyone's muted um, and then we can try that. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt you. You there? Let me see, I think, oops. Thank okay, <laughs> I think I muted you by accident. That's okay. That's okay, the, um, the feedback was getting strong, so I'm glad that you stopped. I figured that yeah, you guys were behind you. the scenes trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tammy. Sure. It sounds to me now that whether it was the the need for the headphones to go on or whoever else it was, it sounds like it's gone away on your end as well. Yep. yep it sounds good to me. So we'll we'll keep an eye on it. And thanks right. everyone who some some people popped in too and said it's getting a little the echo is getting hard to hear. So yeah, okay. yeah. Let's I'm um let's sign off. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's go back to slides. Everybody take a water break or coffee break, whatever you're drinking. Uh, and let's go back. Two slides um, to this, no, not to that, to this one. 
And um, just in case the feedback was getting super distracting, because I know that when I'm trying to learn in a class and if there's kind of extra noise going on, it's often the time when I check out a little bit and don't necessarily pay attention to kind of those, as we were saying earlier, those pearls of wisdom. And so even though I just certainly don't know everything about these products, I don't know everything about the aesthetic industry, I do know a little bit. And if there's something that I can share that will help you, I want you to have a chance to hear it. So um, let's back up a little bit for that. So um, anyway, again, Seth. All right. So we were transitioning into a conversation about aromatherapy complemented with sanitization. And then we're going to transition from the sanitization conversation back into more aromatherapy, aromatherapeutic focused products. But let's kind of, let's just land for a moment on this island of the sanitization of preparation and the application of the tea tree prep lotion and the one-step cleansing oil. And the reason this is so important is because these are multitasking products. The tea tree prep is a sanitizer. So it has the ability to clean your counters. It has the ability to be sprayed in a spray bottle on your ankles and your shoes and your dog's paws and the dog's harness and the leash and the countertops and wherever you want to spray it. I spray it on the baby stroller just to keep things clean. Okay, so it's not like washing it as if you're using soap and water and a bleach. This is a sanitizer to help maintain that level of hygiene and sanitization that I think we're all now aware is always a good idea. So the tea tree prep lotion takes that role, but it also is a toner. And because it's a sanitizer, it helps to keep the skin clean and it gives you a chance to see the reactivity of the skin. So if you put it on a cotton ball and you use it on the inner arm of a client or you use it on the neck or the side of the face, you'll be able to see the stimulation, you'll be able to see the reactivity and you'll be able to clean that area of the skin. All three are good ideas when you're analyzing the skin of somebody that you've never worked with or if you're just trying to determine the state of the skin for the day. So we always talk about wanting to be available and prepared and grounded and ready for our clients when they come in. There's only so much that you can do behind the scenes for that because they come in with their stuff. And so being able to take that time to take care of their skin and let them share, really listening to what they have to say is really, really important. The other product here is the One Step Cleansing Oil. When you take the One Step Cleansing Oil, which is a hair treatment, as well as a pre-cleanse, as well as a body massage medium, then multi-stepped products, excuse me, multitasking products, and you combine that one-step cleansing oil with the tea tree prep lotion, you are giving yourself this wonderful, sanitized, heal, um, cleaning, residue lifting combination. So you'll do pre and post wax prep with it, and it helps to lift the residue, it helps to clean the skin, and it helps to soften the skin. It's a wonderful combination, definitely worth trying. And even if you're not doing any waxing, sometimes it's nice to mix the two as just a hand treatment and just to coat the skin with it because of all the benefits that both of them have to offer. They synergistically work really well together. So you have the ambrosia and you have the Dr. Schwab coming in to a really beautiful marriage. That's something that you can do with a lot of the products that we're talking about. And whenever we have a partnership like that, I'll try to point it out. But if you have an idea, please bring it up also because we can chat about that during the question time also. Sanitization. So this was the page where I was just going to re-emphasize the importance of having all three of these products throughout your house, throughout your business, and especially as doors start to open again throughout your community, making sure that if you have these as available resources to you, that you share them with others. We need to stay clean. And I don't mean clean to the point of where we're trying to use hand sanitizer all the time without thinking about the treatment of the skin. I'm talking about a holistic perspective. How do you treat, how do you protect, and how do you maintain hygiene from the A to Z? So you have your tea tree prep lotion, your sanitizer, and your toner. You have the invisible glove, which is a hand sanitizer, 65% alcohol, and it also is a protector and it helps to treat the skin. If your family or friends or people in your community work in the medical field, so not just what we're saying in clinic as skincare professionals, 
been in the medical field and they're always putting on gloves or if they're first responders and they're out there working in the hospitals, gift as many of these as possible to the nursing station. It will save their hands as a coating treatment under the gloves that they're constantly changing, constantly washing their hands. We will be so grateful to you. C enzymes, so the seaweed citrus hand and body wash, it's not just a regular hand and body wash. It actually takes care of the cells of the skin. If we're not focused on the results that we're getting from the products, why use it? We need to make sure that what we are using not only helps our skin, but helps our clients meet their goals and takes care of their skin and the community at large too. When we're looking at cleansing the face from an aromatherapeutic perspective, the facial cleanser from the C enzyme line is a really nice option. It's something that males find very favorable when they're shaving. You can use it as an aromatherapeutic treatment as well for a first and a second professional cleanse. You can use it as a body cleanse. The seaweed, the cucumber, that essence and that pure extraction helps to go into the aromatherapeutic benefit that the clients receive as well. It is gentle, so you can use it again for all skin types. Some people prefer since it has more of a milky gel texture to it versus a gel creamy texture. They prefer to wipe it on and wipe it off, add a little bit of water and then remove. Some people like to add water to it in the hand and really make it into a silky, very thin cleanser. Always using it neck, face, and chest and remembering to remove really well after you apply. You may be saying, well, what is bladder rack? Bladder rack is that kelp that you see a lot on the coast, big leafy bulbous kelp, that's bladder rack. And it's a huge anti-aging product that we use in skincare across the board. The ocean scent in it definitely comes from the seaweed and the cucumber combination. So that's your harmonizing scent that we talked about earlier when we talked about the core and the harmonizer. That's your harmonizing scent that comes out when people are like, oh, what is that scent? It's fabulous. The facial massage and pre-cleanse that you would do before you do the facial cleanse or after, depending on the protocol that you choose to incorporate into your clinic. And again, it's your profession, so you're able to take it the way that you want, take the protocols that I've created and move them around based on your style. It can be enhanced if you take that one-step cleansing oil and you use it as your pre-cleanse and you incorporate the aromatic oil blends. So there's four different aromatic oil blends and you can customize based on the amount that you put with your one-step cleansing oil, you can customize that facial massage, that body massage. Typically it's one to three drops for face, six to 10 drops for body. And a combination therein, if you're using the oil blends in products such as the papaya. For those of you familiar with the papaya exfoliant, it has a very specific earthy scent. Some of my clients have said, what is that, peanut butter? Others have said, it smells like grass. Others have said, I don't know what this is, but I really feel clean and I feel good when you put this on me. Well, if somebody wants to incorporate more aromatherapy into their clinic work, that's a great platform, a great medium in which to incorporate the oil blends. These oil blends are already buffered in carrier oils. There was a time that I was having some sinus problems and a girlfriend who specialized in aromatherapeutic oils said to me, well, take some basil oil, put it on a cotton ball and stick it in both of your ears. Okay, so I did that. I didn't ask if the oil needed to be added to a carrier oil because at that point that wasn't in my wheelhouse. I ended up burning the entire inside of my ears, the entire outside scabbed, and for the next two weeks, I had crusty peeling ears. These oil blends are not going to do that to you. You can use them right out of the gate, straight on the skin. You can buffer them in a carrier oil in addition to the carrier oil that they are already mixed with, but they are safe to use as a pressure point massage directly onto the skin in the quantities that we mentioned. One to three drops for the face, six to 10 drops for the body, and then however much you want to put, if you're going to add it to the papaya powder, then a then activate the papaya enzyme with your water or your controlling lotion. That's up to you, depending on the scope of what you're treating. If you're doing the entire facial quadrant, you'll add more essential oil blend. 
if you're just doing a spot treating area on one part of the face, you'll use less. The oil blends are specific for different indications, but remember that indication isn't necessarily just topical. That indication is internal as well. Aromatherapy is that mind-body connection. Thinking about how you're affecting the client, how you're affecting their mind, their body, their spirit, their countenance, what they're going to walk out with, what they need, need to release in their mind because they're just hardened and stressed, this can help. It's not an end-all be-all solution to all aspects of issues that they're trying to wrestle with, but you can help them baby steps get one step closer, one tiptoe closer to where they need to get. Sensitive calming. Listen when you're doing your facial analysis, because at the beginning when you're doing the facial analysis, when you're listening to how they're doing, ask them about the poodle dog, ask them about their golden retriever, ask them about their cat, ask them about their grandkids, ask them about that baby that's on the way. Whatever is bothering them, if they're living at home, ask them how they're doing with the quiet in the evening. What music are they listening to? Get them talking because they will start to share something that will be a really key bit of information for you to use to make a decision about what, aromather what aromatherapeutic avenue to go. Do they need something that's re-energizing? Are they really low in energy? Is it de-stress, decongestion? Where are they coming from? with the blends that they need to incorporate. Did I say four? Three, four, three, <laughs> three blends. Sensitive, calming, anti-aging, re-energizing, and de-stress, decongestion. You can also use it with the hydrophilic oil grapeseed. For those of you that are familiar with the Ambrosia products, we have the hydrophilic oil grapeseed and the one-step cleansing oil that can be used interchangeably. The one difference between those two massage mediums is that the one-step cleansing oil has more avocado oil in it. So the cleansing action is heightened in the one-step cleansing oil. So you can incorporate your toning blend, whatever type of aromatic oil blend that you would like to incorporate into either of them and use them interchangeably. Hair treatments. Oh, with the hair treatment, by the way, with the one-step cleansing oil or the hydrophilic oil grapeseed, remember this, we're not going like this, itching the hair and really getting in there with the follicle. No, 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 no. We're taking it and we're moving. We're putting our fingertips down and it's almost like a toggle, okay? Because we don't want to destroy that connection that the follicle already has, especially if somebody's experiencing hair loss. One of the products that Ms. Wendy will show you in a little bit is the serum for hair loss. And there's the conditioner and there's the shampoo also by C Enzyme. We don't have slides for those in this PowerPoint. I completely forgot to put them in, but they're very important aromatherapeutic C enzyme products that we have for those particular, oh, sorry, she's getting in, for those particular um, clients that really want to make a huge difference with their hair and their hair scalp care. So she's showing you. Shampoo, they look the same. You probably can't read them, but shampoo and conditioner. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so those are really important. And again, when you're using the shampoo and the conditioner, then you want to do in this motion. You don't want to do a lot of scrubbing and itching with the hair. Strengthen it. Allow the products to work for you versus white knuckling it, putting a lot of elbow grease into it. Put elbow grease into your business plan, into your plans for the future, for your holistic look, into the details of each day. All of those, put it into your effort to become the best professional that you possibly can within the scope of your licensure as a skincare therapist, body worker, et cetera. But don't overuse the products from a power perspective of you physically to where you're going to hurt your body or you're going to hurt the platform on which you're working. We have a canvas as your skin. And just like an artist, artist preps the canvas in a particular way so that the mediums that they're using, whether it be charcoal, whether it be oil paints, can best do their particular work that they're created for on the canvas, we have that responsibility as estheticians, as skincare therapists as well. It's not our job to change the canvas underneath in terms of how it comes to us, in terms of saying, you have to do this, this, and this, because we can't control people. But what we can do is we can change those cells with what we're given to prepare the skin to be able to have the best results possible. Toners, that's another part of preparing the skin is we need to balance the pH. And this particular toner is another multitasking product. 
I like a lot about the Ambrosia C enzyme lines because they are synergistically used so much together, but they also are multitasking products. This particular multitasking product is a hair care treatment, a body care treatment, and a face treatment. So think of it as a toner, a spritzer for your hair. It's going to protect the hair. It's going to help to lock in all of the really good moisture into the hair and help with those, those um, the end of the, the hair follicle, which when it tends to get like really, really dry and, and just cracked, especially if we're in the sun, hanging out the back of your baseball cap if you're out for walks. Bring it with you, spritz your hair, spritz your face, it re-energizes your sunscreen. It also helps as an environmental protector. The Mega Moisture Mist has aloe, so it soothes the skin, but it has ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate. The ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate is an environmental protector. So it's like a botanical form of the sunscreen, and then you have your harmonizing scent. So the core of the product brought out with a harmonizer with your rosemary mint scent. This one, comes in a small bottle that you can keep in your car or your purse or a larger bottle like this right here, which is an eight ounce bottle. The white tea toner, second toner. This one is more of a focused specific facial quadrant body treatment toner. So this is not the hair multitasker. This is one specific for anti-aging, but great for all skin types. And because it's white tea, it has a really nice ability to not just balance the pH of the skin, but help from an anti-aging perspective and that scent is unbelievable. It does have arnica in it and nettle, lavender and citric acid, and those work together with the vitamin E to nourish. So we're talking about feeding the skin. Think of the white tea toner as a pH balancer food for the skin. Moisturizers. So we have the ability to care for the skin at a hydration level, how we prep it with the pH balancers of your toners. And then, of course, the serums that you use. But then it's the moisturizer that can lock in that health and everything that you put in underneath and continue to create that cellular change. Again, this product has the ethylhexamethoxycinamate, and that's what helps to protect the skin from environmental damage. We want to protect, we want to treat, and we want to transform the skin. So this one is seen as a restorative balancing moisturizer wonderfully partnered with the Mega Moisture Mist, and it has its own light white tea scent. So similar in terms of application of any of the Dr. Schwab moisturizers, where you put a little bit in your hand, apply it on clean, well-toned, well-serumed face, but this one also can be used as a product in and of itself. So clean the skin and then put on your 24-hour moisturizer. That is going to depend on the client that you're working with. Some of my clients want two steps, that's it, that's all they're willing to do. I would give them the cleanser and I would give them this one, especially if it's somebody that is outdoors a lot and that needs to have something that's constantly working for them. Protecting, so we've got our ethyl hexamethoxycinamate, hydrating, nourishing, feeding the skin, restoring the skin, because again, this client may or may not be doing a lot other than this, and then balancing the skin bringing that skin into balance. And balance doesn't mean staying in the exact same status as always. It keeps the skin in more of a holistic, grounded state where we're bringing the low energy up and the high energy into a state of balance. But balance is like those mobiles in the, de in the dentist's office that you watch when else in the air conditioning and there kicks in and the mobile starts moving. That's what products that balance the skin do. They help to take the skin that is out of sorts, that's off and needs to be needs to be reharmonized back into a state of homeostasis. The soothing aspect of this moisturizer is really nice also because skin that's irritated not only doesn't look nice, but it also doesn't feel good internally. And so this is a great moisturizer because it can work day and night to be able to use under makeup, to be able to use before you go to bed at night. And then again, of course, the scent is beautiful. So the aromatherapeutic benefit of the 24-hour moisturizer is really, really nice. Now, if you have somebody that's looking for a little bit more anti-aging and a little bit more pigmentation balancing as well as nourishing, the Rose Hip Vitamin Moisturizer is beautiful as well. I wrote down a couple things about Rose because I thought those were interesting. So I'm gonna read them to you. Rose as a base in your products helps with wrinkles. It helps with depression. It's an anti-aging ingredient. 
cellular rejuvenation is one of the benefits that you'll get. So when we talk about rejuvenation, we talk about cells staying as young as possible for as long as possible. It's really good across the board for all women from a hormonal perspective. It helps with emotional healing. So I would imagine that has to do with the experience of rose, whether topically or inhalation wise. And then the Egyptians like Cleopatra use that as a really important core of so many of the different aromatherapeutic products that they came up with years and years ago back in ancient times. I would love if I could bring somebody back or if I could go back in time, I would love to sit and talk with Cleopatra. I'd like to hear what she has to say about, about wellness, about skin, about beauty. I think that we'd be really surprised. I think it would be really amazing. I think it would not be superficial at all. I think there would be a lot of depth to it. Massage lotions. So another important aspect, some of you are body workers and you don't work on the face at all, or you prefer to work on the body, or just in general, when you're doing your work, you want to do off the face treatments. This chamomile massage lotion can be used for both. So if somebody has more dry, haggard, rough skin, more mature or maturing skin or super irritated skin on the face, this is a great massage lotion to consider. So you would use it for face and body massage. It doesn't emulsify like the one-step cleansing oil or the hydrophilic oil grapeseed, but it does drop inflammation and irritation in the skin. It's more hydrating. So it has the chamomile in it that it has the beautiful antiseptic and anti inflammatory properties. And it's great to use all over in terms of your heels, your feet, absorption of the body. And then the herbs of the chamomile help to really calm and soothe. You can also use this post waxing as an alternative to the tea tree and the one-step cleansing oil or hydrophilic oil, um, hydrophilic oil combination. But with the tea tree, you can use it as a, a post waxing treatment. This one you wouldn't use as a waxing prep though. Okay, so this is just a post waxing, hydrating, antiseptic, soothing lotion, okay? A lot of my clients prefer this to be used when I'm doing the facial massage. They prefer this to be used on the neck and chest. The aromatherapeutic benefit and the smooth silkiness and the hydration is preferable. They like to incorporate some of the oil blends into this. And then for me to use the hydrophilic oil grapeseed or one-step cleansing oil on the face. It's just through trial and error. You'll find certain clients have different preferences. When they react or they breathe or they close their eyes and they go, oh, you know you've hit your mark. You know that they are in a state where not only mentally, but physically they're going to be able to be receptive to your care. And it's your profession. So take time to to listen to them and to figure this out. It's good. It'll be a lot more fulfilling, a lot more rewarding for you to be able to have these little ways to connect with them also. Now, the seaweed citrus body lotion is in a nice pump, just like the seaweed citrus body and hand wash. So the two of them can go together on your counter or in your bathroom. The nice aspect of the seaweed citrus, seaweed citrus body lotion is that it is non-greasy. So it absorbs well. It works for you, so it protects the skin because of the free radical exchanger activity that goes on in it. And it also softens the skin with the sweet almond oil. Almond oil is used either as an exfoliant or as a skin softener. And so the sweet almond oil is the skin softener aspect. The bitter almond oil is more of your exfoliating version of almond oil. The free radical exchanger aspect, because it's full of antioxidants, works as this. Imagine, for those of you that are visual, imagine inside the body and on the top of the skin, there being toxins. So you need to be able to identify those toxins with the products that you use so the body can do its job to get rid of them. If they're not identified, they just kind of circle around and cruise through the body and create issues and sludge and fatigue. And those are what we call free radicals. The free radicals are just there causing trouble. It's like the bad eggs that hang out and just kind of you know loiter around and just aren't contributing to society. If you have antioxidants, antioxidants exchange those. So they go in and they identify toxins. They're free radical exchangers. They go in, identify them, and then the body is able to actually be aware 
there's a toxin that it needs to address, that it needs to deal with. The client will feel lighter, they'll feel healthier, they'll feel better when they're using products that are full of antioxidants because it allows the body to be better nourished by the good things that you put into it and on top of it versus trying to nourish or heal or hydrate a body that is full of sludge and is fatigued. The vitamin E massage oil rose tip is another massage oil to consider. So it's a massage medium that you would use for somebody that needs a little bit of a more emollient treatment and somebody that would benefit from rose being used in the treatment as well as a lot more vitamin E. So the regenerative nature, so regeneration means the next generation cellular turnover, how well cells turn over during the reproductive process, helping the metabolism of the cell. And then the rosehip oil, wheat germ, macadamia, and avocado oil. The avocado oil is present in a lot of the different products that we use. And it's not just for the cleansing action, but it's because it's really nourishing. It really feeds and bolsters the products and helps the skin to receive a lot of that nourishment that it really needs. The grapeseed oil is part of the antioxidant power. And then this one is nice also for soothing sun damaged skin. There's a product we'll talk about in a little bit, which is the seaweed gel cleanser, not gel cleanser, gel mask. That's also beautiful for sun damaged skin. But sometimes when people come in, the cooling aspect or the activity of the, the, the gel of the seaweed doesn't feel as good on their skin as does an oil treatment. So vet it out when you're having that conversation with them. And this may be a beautiful treatment for somebody that comes in with a sunburn. And you don't even have to touch them. You can put this in a spray bottle and warm it up and put it on a light mist. Not like a big spray that's going to like shock them when you're working with them. Because remember, it's experiential. If we're going to work with aromatherapy, we don't want to shock the client unless that's part of the, uh, the job that you're doing. Like if we're doing contrast therapy and cold the hot or waking them up a lot or loud music or whatever aspect of it. But when we're dealing with aromatherapy, more often than not, we're trying to create an experience and continue it from the beginning to the end, even if the different aromatherapeutic techniques and the sense change, we're still trying to give them a holistic, healthy wellness experience. And so if we're gonna be using this in a spritz bottle, make sure that it's a comfortable temperature and then that the spritz is not too hard or too tickly. So that's one way to spray it on body that's irritated or that you are not able to actually physically touch for whatever reason. But if you feel the ingredients, because you're harnessing the power of the botanicals in the product, if you think those ingredients would be ideal for that particular client. And this one also you can use in combination with the essential oil blends that we mentioned earlier. Here's a picture of the hydrophilic massage oil. I'm gonna flip back to the one you just saw. Vitamin E massage oil, hydrophilic massage oil. They look identical in terms of container, except for the words on the front. And they're both 0.5 gallons, so half a gallon. And this one is the friend of the one-step cleansing oil. So again, can be used interchangeably with one-step cleansing oil as a hair treatment, a body treatment, massage medium, pre-cleanse, et cetera. And you also can mix it again with the tea tree prep lotion for a pre and post waxing treatment. Removes the residue at the end, helps to soothe the skin and clean the skin, helps to prep before the waxing when you're using this with the tea tree prep, so as to not lift skin. Here's the seaweed citrus hand and body wash. You recognize this from the page that we looked at earlier when we were talking about sanitization and hygiene, where that's always a good idea. So here's a little bit more about this particular product. I highly recommend you get a bunch of it to put on your counters and partner it with your seaweed citrus hand lotion or body lotion, I should say. This is a gentle cleanser. So it's gentle, but very effective. And then you have your core and your harmonizing scents of the grapefruit, orange, and lemon. It detoxifies, which is really important. And when I say detoxify, I don't mean strip. I don't mean dry out. I mean, get in there and release, clean, purify, balance. The horsetail extract and the rosemary also help to fight, infl fight inflammation. And so if somebody you know is washing their hands all the time, which I would say, most of us are, dropping inflammation in the skin is really important because then it's going to lead to less reactive responses by the skin and the skin will be more receptive to taking in anything that's nourishing. For those of you that are interested in body exfoliation and body treatment products, you don't have to have somebody to work on with these. You can just go ahead and buy them from Alexander's Aesthetics 
and start to practice on your own legs and your arms, your chest and your belly during quarantine. Quarantine. The body exfoliation products are very user friendly. And I think it's a good idea to practice so you know how they feel, how they smell, and the, which different ways you're going to get the most results from them. So the efficacy of the products are only as good as the practitioner who's using them. So get a couple of these and play around with them. You've got the time right now. Wellness body oil. So this is created for people that are going through a little bit more intense types of life experiences. When my father was going through his prostate cancer journey and had 24 different treatments, this was an oil that I had him using, sometimes with the hydrophilic oil grapeseed and sometimes just by itself on his hands and his arms and his legs, just to try to restore that skin to some sort of comfort. The blossoms of time and the geranium are no joke in terms of essential oil experiences. It's really a unique oil. I love this one. It is absolutely fabulous. And it's amazing considering the benefit to the body and that feeling of well being that you get when you use it, as well as the aromatherapeutic benefit. It's really amazing that it is at the price point that it is. So you'll be very, very pleased if you invest in some of the wellness body oil. I like the fact that it's detoxifying, and I like also the fact that it's common, calming. Normalizing is so important if you look at that part in there where it's calming and normalizing. Having something that normalizes the skin doesn't mean that it brings it into a perfect state of balance, but it means that it brings it into a state where it is able to do what it is supposed to do. So if we normalize our world and normalize our own endeavors, it means that we're putting ourselves in a place where we can be as productive, the most productive and really fulfilling the purpose that we're supposed to. This is an example where it helps your body to get to that point because it's feelings of well-being as well as a positive effect on the skin. Now, as we were talking about some different body treatments, the glacier salt scrub is a great one to condition and to soften the body. How it buffs away the dead skin cells is up to you as a practitioner for how you want to combine it. You can combine it in water. I highly recommend though, that you combine it with a hydrophilic oil with grapeseed. Just give it a try, trust me. One step cleansing oil or hydrophilic grapeseed, or even the vitamin E one if you want a more emollient treatment. But this beautiful glacier salt, when you put it with a hydrophilic oil grapeseed, buffs, polishes, soothes, hydrates the skin. Oh my gosh, just buy it. The aromatic sea salt scrub. So this is a similar product to the glacier salt in terms of it being a scrub, okay? So this is a sea salt scrub from a different location. This is from the dead sea salt. This is already mixed with an oil combination. And then your aromatherapeutic benefit and the aromatherapeutic base, the core, and the harmonizing oils are the citrus oils and you have your olive and your avocado. But the scent is absolutely amazing. It has this just incredible Japanese citrus scent to it. And the freshness of the olive oil is really remarkable. This is one of those products where it feels and smells so good, you wonder what it might taste like to ingest it. Now, you could, it's not gonna hurt you, but don't do it. It's not gonna taste good. It's meant for your body. But I share that with you because similar to the pumpkin mask, which many of you have experienced through the Dr. Schwab line, that feels amazing, it's spicy, and it tastes like, or it smells like Thanksgiving. That one, people are tempted to be like, I just feel like I want to eat it. It's like pumpkin pie. And you don't eat that one either because you're not supposed to ingest them, but you can. The fact that the pure botanicals, my point is, is how these ingredients are extracted, how they're brought together, it's done without the chemicals. So it's not going to be something that's going to hurt your body because you're putting them on the outside of the body. And that's going to make a difference internally. So even though we're not eating them, we still want to make sure that they could be edible if if it was something that got into the body. We want to make sure that we're taking care of the skin as the largest organ. So remember, when you're using these products, that one component right there, there differentiates the line, the Ambrosia, the C enzyme, and the Dr. Schwab line from all others out there. When people are saying purity of botanicals, it's giving you that power of botanicals to be able to create that cellular change. It gives you that aromatic experience 
where things are synergistically combined so that it works for you. It's there to make your life easier, to increase your bottom line dollar, and to really transform the client's lives. Now, another aspect of making your life easier is when you use this particular product, the bath crystals, you don't have to have warm water. So if you're in an area where a lot of hot water is difficult to access when you're working with your clients, get a bowl of room temperature water or cool water. They're soluble in both temperatures of water. Set it on the side. That will give you a totally different aromatic experience than some of the other products that we've been talking about. The seaweed extracts and all the minerals in these bath crystals are truly transformative as well. So your client will be able to take this home or you can use it as a foot bath in the clinic or use it as a tabletop aromatic experience. And it will benefit them internally as well as externally. Peppermint body scrub, another great one to retail or to use if you have a wet room. This is minty, so it has a refreshing aspect to it. And then it's really, really nice if you think about it for working on the feet. If somebody walks a lot, if they're in the nursing profession, the doctor, if they're in the medical world, this is going to be a great gift to give to them. The peppermint body scrub, the lotion, and the invisible glove, just helping them to take care of themselves. They're giving so much out there as first responders and just in general in the medical field. It's pretty amazing. Hands and feet need to be taken care of. They absolutely need to be taken care of. When I was in beauty school way back in the dark ages, I remember they said, take care of your own hands and feet because those are, those are your future dollars. If you don't have feet and hands that are well cared for and feel good, you're not going to be able to be the best clinician, the best skincare therapist for your clients. And the longevity won't be there because you'll be achy. It's how you sit up. If anybody's slouching, sit up tall. And in fact, this could be a perfect time to remind you of one of the pressure points one of the areas to release tension, and it's great to do this with the oil blends, if any of you have them with you. So you put your oil blend on, third finger, fourth finger, right up here. There's a notch under your brows. Take it, or with your, your thumb, and push up, grab your brows. It looks ridiculous, but it will release tension in the head area. So as you're going through, as you're listening, as you're spending a lot of time on the screen, aromatherapy and proper, Facial acupressure points will really help you and communicate that to your clients also. People are going to be a lot, doing a lot more online learning and a lot more online communicating. Now that we've all figured out how to work it during this time, it's going to be more a part of our culture. And so teaching them how to sit up straight, drop the shoulders, take the shoulders off the ears, pressure points on the face, temples, incorporate aromatherapy into it. Make it very tangible. Make it make sense to them. A lot of your clients will be able to go along with it because they trust you, but some clients are very high logic and they need something to make sense to know, well, why am I spending the money? Why am I doing what I'm doing? So this product, for example, if that's one of the clients that you're talking to, why would I be using it? I'm using it because I want to protect my hands. I want the skin to last longer. I want it to be moisturized and I want the visibility of the pigmentation and the wrinkles on my hand to be lessened. I want to be able to drive a car right after I put this particular product on without getting my steering wheel all greasy. And I want to be able to go out into the sun and enjoy playing golf once the golf course is open. That's why you would use the intensive hand cream. It helps to save your cuticles. Give them reasons if they're high logic as to why. Give the people that are not high logic and more sensory, more grounded, more feeling, that type of a person, a reason from sense and from the aromatherapeutic perspective and the touch, they're gonna to respond to how it felt when you put it on them. Different clients need different aspects and avenues for which you communicate to them. And ultimately this will all result in a sale. And again, I'm not a salesperson, I am more of an educator, but I can help you get those dollars where they need to go as well as the client benefit and their takeaway emotionally as well as physically from the treatments that you do based on how you address each of these products. This one also, pardon me, helps with the chalky dryness. So somebody that may use a lot of gloves, it's a really unique product. Um, so after the gloves, this isn't one to put on under the gloves. The invisible glove goes under the gloves. This one you would put on after the gloves come off. Oh, evening primrose oil, that last ingredient there, that's used in our rescue cream also. So also remember rescue cream. Rescue cream is a wonderful, emollient occlusive barrier that helps to heal burns from the inside out 
and it's wonderful to use as a protector during times like this cuticles and those area areas that are are high high use right now peppermint foot cream so this is a complement to the peppermint foot scrub that we were looking at a little bit ago so the peppermint foot cream helps to soften it helps to soothe the mintiness will penetrate in and then of course it helps your dry heels and your calluses complementing products put together in a basket again can really make a difference for people in your community that are giving their all to try to keep everybody healthy and safe and also it's good to use as our general self hygiene as well you will talk more freely and with more passion about something that you've not only experienced yourself but that you also use on a regular basis or if you don't use it that you've seen one of your clients or somebody close to you in your in your circle of influence use with beautiful results so try to pay attention to not just what you're doing yourself and your inside but how you impact and influence others around you and what's working for them because then that passion will carry through when you're having conversations with people the seaweed gel mask i mentioned this a little bit ago so this is a hair treatment it's also for your face for your body, for sunburned, irritated skin. A lot of my teenage clients really enjoy the seaweed gel mask. It has just the amount of activity that they can handle and they like the bluish color of it. And then they like the cooling aspect. Some of them run very warm. After about 20 minutes, you can wipe it off and then with a warm towel, remove the rest of it, or you can just massage it into the skin depending on the skin type that you're working with. For some people, you need to make sure that every time you apply, you remove 100%. This is a product that if the person has particularly dry, irritated skin, and you know that they can handle products being left on, this is one that you can massage into the skin. And for the hair, leave it on overnight, and then rinse it off the next morning. The mud mask is also a hair treatment as well as a body treatment. So when you think about from tip to tip, we're cleansing and detoxifying your hair, your face, your body, decollete, your back, do allow it to dry if you have the ability to use a wet room because that dry, that wet to dry to wet feeling is just absolutely wonderful. But if not, mummy it because it's a lot easier to remove since it is a drying mask. You can use this on all skin types. If the person has particularly dry skin, you may not want to let it dry all the way. If you want to really clear up some oil and some ingestion, somebody with some acneic breakouts, allow it to dry and then re-moisten it to remove or mummy it. Just like the seaweed mask, the honey almond mask can be left on overnight. This mask is also multi-purposed because it doesn't just feel wonderful on the skin, but when you warm it, it de-stresses the skin. So it will relax the pores of the skin, it de-stresses the skin, and it helps to fortify the skin. It has propolis in it. And so this is a very nourishing mask. It's one of those products that when people say to me, well, I haven't used any ambrosia aromatherapy, what should I start with? I always say, get your one-step cleansing oil, get your honey almond mask, and call me tomorrow. When you have those two, you can really go far. You can do so many different treatments with the two of these. This one is great to be left on for as long as possible and then massaged into the skin or removed, it's up to you. But if you're doing a seven to 10 minute masking, you will get a large benefit from it. And if you use a longer masking period, like a 30 minute masking period, you'll get an even greater benefit. So it's a very unique mask. It's a beautiful scent as well. It's like a honey pot in your skin. Rosemary camphor. So this is more refreshing. This is for somebody that has a bit more sebaceous gland activity, somebody that can handle the aromatherapeutic scent of the camphor. It's very clearing. It's very balancing and clarifying. And it is a cooling mask as well. So you may find that people with sebaceous gland disorders, even rosacea telangiectasia, can do well with this because of the natural preservative, the scent in it, and the cooling aspect of it. I like to leave this one on for about 10 to 20 minutes. It just depends on what I'm doing before and after. This is not one that you would put under a leave-on pour-on mask because the intensity of the camp pour would start to irritate the eyes. It's a very pure botanical. This is one that does better if you mummy it or if you just leave it out into the open because it is a gel mask. Normalizing the skin, again, that's a big subject with a lot of these aromatherapeutic products. So we're trying to normalize the skin, bring it into balance, get its healthiest state possible. 
green tea ginseng. So the green tea ginseng is a really fun mask to use in all of our anti-aging treatments. It's also one that you can retail. All the ambrosia masks are retailable. Oh, look, retailable. I'm going to use it as one. And this one revitalizes the skin. It energizes the skin. It's got those anti-aging ingredients where it's going to really penetrate into the skin because it has that delivery system we talked about earlier. The ambrosia products are not exempt from having excellent delivery systems. And this one is really nice also when you keep the skin warm, just like the honey almond mask. You don't have to leave this one on very long. Definitely follow up with a serum and a moisturizer. And the regenerating aspect and the revitalizing aspect helps the skin, the cells, to continue that turnover for that cellular health to be very consistent with the metabolism of the cells. That one's really good for all skin types, um, as is the honey almond. I would say that the honey almond is excellent for more of your mature, maturing, and stressed skin. Soy apple. So this one is going to be more of a strengthening mask, and this is going to be something that's great to drop inflammation and redness. For somebody that has reactive skin, a lot of times people come in and they say, my skin is so sensitive. And so then I take a look at their lifestyle and what's going on with them with their skincare use and their products and their history. Most of the time, the skin is actually not biologically sensitive or genetically sensitive. It's actually weak. It's skin that can be strengthened and put into more of a place of balance by the products that we use and the care that the person gives it. Soy apple mask is a great choice for somebody that falls into that category. And if somebody has a lot of irritation and you want to use an aromatherapeutic mask, to drop that irritation and inflammation. It's a calming cream. It's a sensitive mask cream, um, something that you can use face, neck, chest, body. It's really, really nice. I also like to use it on hands if somebody wants to do a hand treatment as they're laying there. I'll just brush it on the hands. Feels really good. It's great for elbows too because it helps to address the rough patches. Now sunscreens. So after all of this that we've done, from the aromatherapeutic A to Z, we have to remember that protecting our skin, no matter where we live, is always a good idea, just like hygiene is always a good idea. So you need to have a sunscreen to offer that falls under the aromatherapeutic category, effective and enjoyable. The ultra umbrella sunscreen that C Enzyme puts out is an SPF 30, which is good for everybody. And it works really well with your makeup. If you're a flawless tint and flawless fluid kind of gal, it works beautifully with those. It's great on top of moisturizers or serums or just by itself because it does have aloe and sunflower oil and some other ingredients in there that help to smooth and to soften the skin, but you don't feel particularly sticky. So it's a beautiful sunscreen. Highly, highly recommend that you incorporate it into your own routine during this time at home. And then you're gonna be able to talk about it a little bit more experientially with the clients afterwards and when you're retailing it. Whoops. All right, well with that, I think it's time to turn it back over to Wendy and Tiffany for questions. We've got three more slides, but I'm gonna leave it on this one and have them direct me when to click to the next slide because I think that they are gonna be able to talk a little bit more about what's upcoming and and if anybody has questions, we can go through those. I have some handouts also that I would love to show you once I take, um, not the ones that they sent you, I have additional handouts um, that I can send um, over and they have to do with aromatherapy um, blends and uh, use of, of aromatherapy. But let's take um, a little bit of a, a break from the aromatherapy and talk about some more business stuff from Wendy and Tiffany, and then I'll bounce back on and, and close the PowerPoint and pull up the other other documents that I would like to share with you if, if you can still stay on for a little bit more time. Sound good? I'm gonna mute myself and so take a sip, a sip of my drink and it always sounds gross to swallow with earphones on. So. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. Tiff, you wanna go through yeah, these? So we've got, we've got a few more uh, great webinars coming up next week. Um, it's gonna be focused on waxing, which is my wheelhouse more so. I'm really excited about these. The Lycon one with Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay is our distributor in, uh, oh, wow. Canada. Thank you. I mean, 
I'm like brain dead today, guys. I'm not really sure. It's Thursday, like I know, but I don't know what's going on there. Um, You're doing great, Tiffany. You're doing yeah. great. <laughs> um, so we're really excited about that for Hana, as I mentioned, because we know I get really excited about these little gadgets on the screen here. If you put your camera right up to it, it's going to bring you straight to uh, be able to sign up for these webinars as well. Uh, we also have Waxing with Syrupil, which is one of the other wax brands that we carry and we love. Um, we're going to be doing that webinar on Thursday with their uh, one of Syrupil's educators, which we're really excited about. Uh, so those are going to be next week. And Tammy, you can go ahead and switch the live. And I'm pretty sure Farhana is awesome for the huge. And the next, um, the next, you'll have another little thing to show your camera on to get to our website. Um, at Alexander's, we are obviously still here to support you. Um, we have dropped our minimum shipping of $200, uh, free shipping, sorry, to down to $100. So anything over $100 online is now free shipping for you. Um, we're, you know, we're doing our best to help you out. Um, we, again, I'm obviously always going to sing for Hana's praises. On the website, she made these really cool, um, much easier for you to find. I actually utilized it yesterday myself. On the website, it will show you the PPE products. There's going to be one that you just click on that. And that's going to be great because it's going to show you what we have in stock and everything that falls under that PPE. There's also a retail section because we are doing drop ship to your clients. If you're not sure what retail items we have to send to your clients, there's a little retail section as well. So you can click on that and it brings up all of the retail items that we have for you to sell to your clients, which is awesome. Dropship, if you are unfamiliar with that, that is where we do all the work for you. Actually, I don't have to do any of it. So <laughs> I get to sit at home in my kitchen like this. So what happens with Dropship is when you send your order either to Wendy or to C, um, they will package it up for you and ship it straight to your client. So you just wanna make the note that it's to your client. That way they don't put the invoice in there as well. That way you don't have to try to ship it out and all of that too. So we take out some of that um, challenge for you. We also do curbside pickups. So if you wanna go for a drive or if you are in the area, uh, you can place your order online. You can click pickup or you can call. Ever we do love, I know C still loves to chat. I know Wendy, I got to talk to one of our clients yesterday. It was very delightful. Um, so we do love talking to you. So you can call and they can place your order out and you can come pick that up at your earliest convenience as well. So we're doing the best that we can. I know Colorado is probably going to be working on opening, obviously sooner than our California office. Um, so there will be uh, strategies that Wendy's going to put out and let you know when that happens. But until then, the curbside pickup is a great option for you. Um, again, Wendy can help you and see also in the office can help kind of chat with you through what else we have and all of those kinds of Tammy, you can go to the next slide for me. So there's that cool little gadget. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it a doohickey. So a little doohickey there. QR code. <laughs> QR code. Q QR code. I'm never going to remember that, guys. Um, the, the QR code there, that, again, that'll take you straight to the website. Um, for Hana obviously makes it easy for everyone. Obviously for me, too, because I don't know how I'm doing this stuff. Um, that's how you can place your um, your order. If you have not ordered with us, you can uh, create your account super easy. We do ask for your license number. We can verify that, and then you can order immediately because um, once that's verified, uh, they verify it quickly, and then you can start placing um, placing your order. Great. Okay. All right. So we're ready for some questions. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. We have a question from Levia. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. Can you use the tea tree prep before Brazilians? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah. Um, I it's it's nice and gentle on the skin, but it's it is gonna clean the area off as your pre-cleanser. You can use it for anything. You can use it for brows, lips nose, underarms. I mean, it's great for all of the, the prep work. Um, and then I'm a big 
uh, oil person for after you clean, but the tea tree prep is really great for that. It's a, it is a great multifunction product that's not overly aggressive. Um, but yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and another thing to think about too is that it's gentle but effective. And so the purity of the botanicals not only degrease the skin, but they also condition and prepare the skin. And so you're gonna be cleaning the skin, which gives you a lot less of a chance of any sort of irritation or infection afterwards if you work with already clean skin. But then also some people in protocols with different peels don't like to use the more aggressive acetone style peel preps and the tea tree prep can be synergistically replaced or synergistically used instead of those for just about all the protocols. Of course, follow the manufacturer's guidance guidelines, but I use the tea tree prep across the board for every single pill that I do as a as a pill prep and a degreaser. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. Question from Deanna. Um, I think she so she wants to know the two options for her towels are geranium lavender and the ylang ylang orange. Is that correct? Yeah. That's what we have. Just want to make sure that's. Um, what I do too, I don't always soak the towels in them. What I do first thing in the morning, because a lot of a lot of my clients are either scent sensitive or um, if they have autoimmune disorders, things like that, I tend to not go to that route. But what I do when I first get into the office is I turn the water on because it takes forever for it to warm up, but I turn it on and I pour um, the wellness, one of the one of the wellness soaks, depending on my mood, uh, which one I pour into a bowl of water, and I let that the water run into it, and that just creates when people walk in, they're like, oh, it smells so nice, and I'm like, I know, right? So it does help just to bring a little bit of a nice light scent, so that when you first walk in, um, so if you don't feel like soaking your your towels or anything like that, you can still get that great, calming, soothing, wonderful scent. Um, just through your whole office by running it through water like that. Okay, great, thank you. Um, Doris would like to know if all of the massage products have grapeseed in it. She has some clients that have an allergy to grapeseed. It's a really good question. So the best way to figure this out is to get the link for the product knowledge pages because then you'll have an at your fingertips resource that you can have on your mobile device or your, you know, whatever form that is for you. And anytime you have a question about the products, it has exactly what is involved with them. So the features and the benefits, the features meaning the ingredients, the benefits meaning what they do. It has step-by-step -step in terms of how to use it. It has the sizes in which you can buy it. And then there is an, uh, a list of every single ingredient in the product, as well as a picture of it and the name um, and kind of the key bullet points. And so uh, that product knowledge, um, information would be the best way for you to navigate. Off the top of my head, I feel like most of the massage mediums have grapeseed because it is such a great antioxidant. It's such a great um, texture. Uh, but again, we may have a, a great, a really good opportunity for you to use one that doesn't. I just don't remember off the top of my head if there, if it, if there is or is not. So we'd have to look for you. Okay. In fact, while we're waiting for the next client, I'll flip through and see if I can get an answer right now. Okay, sounds good. And also just to let everybody know on our website, um, under each item, there's a link, there's a PDF link to the product knowledge pages on our website when you're on the item on the website. And if for some reason it's not there, just contact us and we can get that available for you as well. Um, okay, um, Reese would also like to know if, we have a hands and feet protocol. So we didn't include one today. Um, I don't know if Tammy, you guys have a hands and feet protocol. Um, I don't know that I have one offhand. I probably do. I'd have to check back in my, no in my treatments. Uh, and if I don't, I'm happy to create one. So okay. um, we can add that to our little tickler list of, of to-dos. Yeah. Uh, one thing for Hannah and I were talking about yesterday is we've created so many amazing protocols for these webinars um, for everyone to use. So we have a section on our website that was very cute seeing with the baby in the backpack. <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh, um, 
anyway, we are looking to put all of those up on the website in a section. So we have one kind of resource area for you to access protocols. So stay stay tuned for that. We're learning. And if there's, if there's protocols you don't see, like the hand and foot, if we don't have one, um, there's enough of us for resources. We can always ask Tammy to help us. I make protocols yeah. all the time. So if there's things that you're not sure of, as far as protocol wise, or if you want one, it definitely, I mean, me in California, I would love extra work at this point since I got to sit in my house for another month. Um, I'm going to stop complaining about it now. Uh, I would be happy to help in making more protocols or kind of go list with you. Again, I had a nice conversation with a client yesterday, just kind of going through some of the challenges that she's having, trying to create um, home care protocols and how to retail to her clients and you know, how to start to reach out, things like that. So um, we're all very happy to do that and help you with those kinds of things. Um, even even after I get to go back Absolutely. to work, I still love to help you with that. Yeah, thanks, Tiff. Appreciate that. Um, all right, Margarita has a question. Um, can she use the oils in a steamer? She has a steamer that has a little metal container for aromatherapy, but she's never used it. Absolutely. So the um, essential oil blends work really beautifully in there. You can also use your wellness soaks. Um, okay, so I, the one that doesn't look like it has grapeseed in it is the chamomile massage lotion. Great. Good to know. Very good to know. Thank you for looking that up. Mm -hmm. Yep, all the other ones do, including the, the wellness body oil. Um, And it looks like the, the wellness soaks do not have grapeseed in them. Okay, great. All right, um, next question. Margarita would like to know if she can use her oils in a diffuser. So the last question was steamer, this one's diffuser. The essential oil blends, yes. Yeah, okay, great. Um, Karen says, uh, protocols would be amazing. Thank you for doing the webinars. They are keeping me sane. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. They're keeping us I sane. They're keeping us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, thank you. Um, so don't forget in the handout sections before you get off, or we're going to have Tammy continue if, if people want to stay on, but if anyone needs to drop off in the handout sections, there are two, uh, protocols. They're super detailed. They're amazing in this um in the control panel so go ahead and download those before we get off and um like i said just contact us if you're looking for something and we can we can help you get that out um but that is all for the questions cool yeah let me get out of the powerpoint here this without making you guys go away there we go. Okay. Can you see this one? It's a little small. If you um if you maybe just make the font bigger, if you can do that. There we go. That looks better um, if you just yeah, just scroll, maybe scroll up and down, but um all right, so uh, there we, we go. go. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. All right. So when we're using essential oils and blends, this is also a handout that I will send to Wendy and to um, uh, Farhana to be able to distribute. Or I guess I'll just send it to Wendy and she can distribute it to all of you. And then the the key parts on here are across the board best practices. Okay. Now take into consideration that you may buy essential oils or blends from different manufacturers, but we're focusing on the ambrosia ones right now. And these best practices work beautifully with all the ambrosia oils and all the ambrosia oil blends. Okay. Um, so you can go ahead and take a look through this at your leisure. Uh, one of the ones that I find is so nice at home is when I am just feeling like I need to, and I'm not a napper, but when I need to just kind of reset the third one down, put one to three drops on a wet washcloth 
and just put it over my face. Yes, thank you. So all I can say is yes, thank you. As you're going down, you can see that it talks about perfume and anointing. It talks about liniment use. And so some of the information here is going to be helpful for those of you who want to purchase essential oil blends to use out the get-go, uh, right out the gate, uh, because they are already buffered in carrier oils. But some of you may want to play around with essential oil blends. And so this gives you a little bit of an idea of how to do combinations and making sure that you are very careful with how you do your combinations. Um, there's two basic types of effects um, of essential oils. It says at the bottom here, so inhalation and then topical application. And I think that part's really nice to be to remember. The inhalation has mainly a psychological effect through the limbic system and neuroendocrine functions. So it's helping with moods, it's helping with feelings, mental functions, and that's the one that's going to affect energy level with your clients and with yourself. Topical application has more of a physiological effect. It does affect the skin and the muscles and the psychological effect because as those oils are inhaled, you're going to be able to get a benefit as well. So that page will go to you, will come to you through email or whatever method at some point um, the Alexander's Aesthetics team chooses if they choose to. Um, yeah, I will. The, if, you, if you send these to me, I can download all of the attendees' um, email and we can just send it out to them that way. Great, great. Thank you. Um, and then aromatherapy, absolutely welcome. Aromatherapy wise, some people are curious about all of the uses for different aromatherapy extracts, the different scents, and there are books and books and books on this. So this is not completely, um, this is not as extensive as it'd be if you used a book. Like it's not, what's the word? Um, Comprehensive. Not, thank you. Uh, but it's a really, it is an extensive look at um, each of them. And I think it's very simple. I like how they use the different codes. So again, with this one, if we're going to look at basal, bronchitis, headache, migraine, digestive aid, mouth ulcer, gum infections. Remember I was saying that I was having some issues with my sinuses and my chest and just my whole ear, nose and throat issue. And I took the basal and put it on cotton and stuck it in my ears. Excellent idea. Not great because I didn't put a carrier oil on it. So you can see the treatments in which they're saying this aromatherapeutic benefit will get you to this end goal and how you can blend it. The blends are not carrier oils. Those blends are other really nice aromatherapies, excuse me, aromatherapeutic oil um, extractions that you can mix that essential oil with that blends nicely. But then it also over here says, shows what the warnings are. And then you have at the bottom, what the different symbols stand for. Uplifting, warming, and what the warnings are. Warnings are. And there's another page too. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. So um, um Tammy, one last go ahead, you finish. Oh, I was saying, and I find it humorous now that my ears have healed since that was years ago. But that the very first one, which is basil, the only warning that it gives right there is irritate sensitive skin, dilute. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. So anyway, uh, took one for the team there. <laughs> um, one more question: Are are estheticians able to retail the ambrosia masks, like the honey almond, and they sell those to their clients? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And and anytime there is a manufacturing run. They always make at headquarters, they always make samples of the leftover material, uh, the leftover product. And so there's a chance as estheticians that if Alexander's accesses samples of those masks, then you can get the mask to retail and get samples to be able to incorporate in skincare kits that you're giving out or that you're selling or travel oh, nice. sizes. It's just, it's an option that's not available 365 days a year, but it's when those manufacturing runs are done, something to just keep a pulse on, so. Yeah, so yeah. we have a client who is also a, um, she works for a daycare center <clears throat> that is providing 
care for essential workers' children. So they closed down as their regular daycare and they opened up as an essential worker. There's 60 teachers and she's putting together gift baskets. And we did include, we have the seaweed mask. Uh, so we have 60 little baskets we're putting together and we have a lot of the products that you just talked about, but little tiny seaweed mask samples in there along with the bath crystals and a few other things. So just an Beautiful. example of how you can put together stuff love for it. your clients. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. All right. Well, Tammy, thank you so much again. And I we hope to do more with you in the future. Um, we so appreciate yeah. your time and your information. Um, all the attendees out there, we will send these extra handouts to you. Give us a day or so. Um, don't forget that we have all of our webinars online under classes. They're all recorded and posted, so you can watch them as many times as you would like. Um, we have the two next week, and then the following week we have one on sugaring, um, and then we're going to take a little bit of break from webinars because places are opening back up, and we're kind of getting ramped up for that, but we will continue webinars, um, you know, in the future, just probably not as many as we did during this shutdown time. So please call us and let us know if you have any questions. We're here for you and um, best of luck to everyone. And thanks again, Tammy. You're Hope welcome. You're soon. I look okay. forward to it. Thank you so much for including me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.